Hello everyone, Old Boys here again. In this video, I'll talk about steroids for Elementor, which is a set of add-ons that I've created to ease my everyday work and that I also wanted to share with you. It's completely free and you can download it from the official WordPress plugins repository. Currently, there's a total of five add-ons included to the package, but I have plans to add more in the near future. So, what is it all about? Well, I guess the best way to explain is to simply go one by one and briefly introduce every add-on that's currently in a package named Oh Boy Steroids for Elementor. Just to mention that these add-ons do not include any new widgets, but rather extend existing Elementor widget options. There are hundreds of so-called packs for Elementor out there that usually install a bunch of redundant widgets and clutter the Elementor widgets library unnecessary. So that's not the case here. First of all, you'll have to install and activate oh Boy Steroids for Elementor, same way you do with any other WordPress plugin. Check out the video description for the plugins download page. The first one that I'll talk about is named Breaking Bad. If you watched one of my previous video tutorials on how to master the columns in Elementor, you're gonna love this add-on because from now on you no longer need to do any custom CSS work anymore. With Breaking Bad, you can make the section wrap its columns properly, which means that the columns break the line according to the available horizontal space. I guess you all are familiar with the famous Elementor glitch when you try to make a column 100% wide and after that you are no longer able to get things back to normal unless you reset the structure, of course. 100% wide column only works for tablet and mobile devices, but for some reason it doesn't work for desktops, so Breaking Bad add-on fixes that major glitch. In addition, every section that you enable Breaking Bad for will let you set the column width in any CSS acceptable unit as opposed to percentage value only that you can set by the default. Which means that one column can be, let's say, 300 pixels wide, the next one may be 100% minus 300 pixels, which is also semantically correct in terms of CSS. Of course, you gotta use the CSS calc function and enclose the expression within a normal pair of brackets. And the last column could be 24 EMs wide. It doesn't really matter because the columns break the line naturally. If you highlight the section and get back to the section's breaking bad options, you'll be able to align the columns to the left, center or the right hand side, whatever you like. I hope that you figure so far that Breaking Bad extends the layout options for bo of both section and the column. And there's one little thing that I also wanted to pay your attention to. With this add-on, you can easily make your column scrollable, okay? The only thing that you have to do is to lock the height of the column by setting up a fixed value. So if you set a height to a fixed value, all the content that doesn't fit vertically will simply become scrollable. All right, let's move to the next add-on whose code name is Poop Art. Don't get discouraged by the name because that very add-on brings some superpowers to each and every Elementor widget. That's why it can be found as a separate panel under the Advanced tab. The best way to describe the function functionality of that add-on is to think of it as being given the option to, to add the two extra layers to your widgets. What kind of layers am I talking about? Well, if you work, if you, if you ever work with Photoshop, Sketch, Illustrator, Affinity Designer, you'll know what layers I'm talking about. So in that fashion, Poop Art will let you add simple shapes like rectangles or circles to your Elementor widgets, or upload or let you upload images that could also be all kinds of shapes, scribbles, whatever you like. Furthermore, all of these simple or complex shapes can interact with the host widget, especially if we are talking about the image widget. You can change the size and position of the overlay or underlay element. As you can see, these two widget layers are named overlay and underlay, but don't stick to, to, to the meaning of their names. Their stacking order is controlled by the Z index, so the name has rather a distinctive function, okay? Besides being able to control the size and position, you can make them blend with each other and the host widget too. So in that sense, you are able to create all kinds of compositions, as you can see on the screen right now. Moreover, you could 
mask overlay and underlay elements and thus create even more complex shapes. Okay, let's move to the next add-on and whose name is Harakiri. If you wonder why did I choose all these unusual names for my elementary add-ons, well, there's really no other reason but to make them unusual on purpose because I think that people remember unusual things much better than usual ones. That's all. Anyhow, Harakiri add-on relies on one not so frequently used CSS property which, the, which is the writing mode and which allows you to change the text orientation from regular or horizontal to vertical. It'll affect two elementary widgets only which are the heading and text editor widgets. I forgot to mention that every add-on can be distinguished from other default elementary widget options by that little triangle-like icon on the right-hand side of the add-on name or the panel title. Okay, that's how you know you're dealing with non-standard options. The next add-on has a slightly more usual name than other, and which is Overlays. It has been made with a purpose to extend existing options that relate to the background overlay element of the section and the column. Background overlay is not a widget, nor is the column or the section. These are rather referred as the elementary elements. By default, background overlay is available to the section only, but if you want to take the advantage, the advantage of that extra element on behalf of the column too, you'll have to wake it up. What does it mean to wake it up? Well, if you highlight particular column, then go to the style tab, background panel, and in our case, disable background type, you won't be able to see the background overlay panel. It's sleeping now. But if you choose the background type explicitly, our background overlay panel shows up. That's what I mean. That's what I meant by saying wake it up. I don't know why this is supposed to work that way in Elementor, but let's just say that there's a strange reason for that. The main purpose of overlays add-on is to let you move the background overlay element up and down, left and right, scale it up or down, and get some border to it. And as you can see, that's what helps us to create the illusion of the overlapping element. With that particular add-on, you can do that overlapping thing in just a few clicks, so to speak. You can overlap image and text, or two images or even more if needed, it depends on what you are actually up to. So, the overlap will work in any direction, up and down, left and right, you can overlap the corners only, whatever you prefer. And since you can add a border to the background overlay element, you might want to create that borders with offset, borders behind the content. And the last one on the list of add-ons is Paginini. I included this one to the package simply because Elementor doesn't provide any options for styling up posts pagination. You can't even set the padding or margin, which is extremely annoying because you gotta do all the styling work either by using custom CSS panel or rely on your current theme style CSS file. I do not understand why there are no styling options for pagination, mainly because Elementor is now advertised as a quote-unquote break from theme and code change tool, so it doesn't make any, any sense even more. But I guess things might change eventually. So with Paginini add-on, you are able to actually do some basic styling, like add the background color to the pagination element itself, or the paging numbers individually. You could also add the, the border if needed, and maybe exclude previous and next buttons from being styled up. Pretty much basic stuff that's missing by the default. And that actually should be it. Don't forget to check the video description below for more stuff. Feel free to suggest what kind of add-ons you'd like to see in the future, which options, by your opinion, are currently missing in Elementor, or just mention what do you find to be annoying with regards to Elementor. I hope that you're gonna find these add-ons useful for your next project, I hope that you're gonna benefit from my Elementor add-ons and possibly consider a little donation for all the work I did here, especially if this is something that helps your business. If you do that, I'll be able to continue development and there's a big chance that more add-ons will soon to come. At the end, I wish the best health for all of you because the health is the only thing that doesn't have a price tag. Stay away from coronavirus, peace and love.